41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield talked to one woman who took part in the Pfizer vaccine trial on the precautions she's still taking. As the world watched history being delivered, Meredith Orr couldn't help but feel proud. One thing that I could do, and it, it really didn't take much for me, it was just a small sacrifice. The 23-year-old Texan is one of thousands who signed up to be a participant in Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine trial, making a day like today possible. I'm in a position to, to do that. I'm young and healthy and um, if, if all the, any of us were going to get out of this thing, then some people are going to have to take a risk or a sacrifice. The Pfizer vaccine requires two doses to be effective or received her first shot in August. Three weeks later, she rolled up her sleeve to get a second dose. Today, she still doesn't know whether she received the vaccine or a placebo. I didn't have any side effects, which was great. Um, I don't know what I got, but I'm kind of choosing to live like I got the placebo and, and make sure I'm doing my part to keep myself and others safe regardless. And that's what doctors say everybody should do. While a vaccine is promising, they say it's going to take many months before we return back to normal. Only when you get the level of infection in society so low that it's no longer a public health threat, can you then think about the possibility of pu pulling back on public health measures. Although the vaccine is currently being administered to healthcare workers, Pfizer's trial will last for two years, meaning Orr will continue to provide critical information, such as tracking how she feels on her phone every week. I think the more people that are able to get it and um, are committed to, to doing that is just going to help us all. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Dr. Anthony Fauci predicted the United States could achieve herd immunity against COVID-19 by May or June after vaccines are more widely deployed.